Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to make a battery with a potato. Okay, let's start. So first let's look at what you need. We need of course the potato. Then here we're going to test a few electrodes and see which works best. Here I'm using just a copper wire. This is just a copper wire. This is the light and this is a coin. This is a coin. This is made of a nickel brass copper. So it's mostly copper. This is an aluminium foil and this is a galvanized nail which means it's coated with zinc. All right, so let's start. So first, you take the potato. Now the principle here is we are going to use two different metals. You stick two different metals in the potato and then you should have an EMF. So let's start with this. So this is the copper wire. I'm going to stick it in the potato. Okay, so now we have two different metals. This is the zinc the zinc coated are the nail and we have copper. So what happens when we connect this to a voltmeter? So I'm going to connect one of the connecting wires here to the nail and then I'm going to take the other one and connect it to the copper, copper wire here just like this. Alright, so now we're going to connect this to a voltmeter to measure the EMF produced. So here you can see the voltmeter. I'm going to connect the copper electrode one side. Now let's see what we get. So you can see we have an EMF of 0 0.9 volts. All I'm using is this. So we have the copper and then we have the nail. So what is actually going on here? This zinc is more electropositive than copper which means zinc will donate electrons. So zinc is going to act as the anode because electrons are going to come out here and go through the wire and then it is going to come into copper. So copper here acts as the cathode. Copper is going to be where electrons are accepted from the wire, from the external circuit. So this right here is the simple chemical cell. We have a simple chemical cell. We have two different metals as electrodes and the function of the potato is simply the electrolyte. So the actual chemical energy does not originate from the potato. It starts by the metal donating electrons. So the potato is only the electrolyte. So this is how it works. So we are able to produce 0 0.9, about 0 0.94 volts of EMF using copper and zinc. Now let's try different combinations. So I'm going to use, okay, let's try the coin. So this is just a coin. This is actually an alloy, but it's mostly copper. So let's try this. So I'm going to take off this copper here. Let's replace it with the coin. I'm going to just push the coin into the potato like this. All right, so now we have the coin in the potato and let's check the voltage. So you can see it's about the same because this coin is also made mostly from copper. So you still get 0 0.9 volts, about 0 0.94 volts. Okay, now let's try a different combination. So let's try aluminium. So let's see what happens here. So when we use aluminium foil and zinc, we only get 0 0.3 volts. This is because they're very close to each other in terms of reactivity. Okay, so let's try a different combination. Let's try aluminium and copper wire. So I'm going to take out the iron nail. Okay, so if we have aluminium and copper, Aluminium is going to act as the anode because aluminium is more reactive than copper. Aluminium is the one who's going to donate electrons. So let's take this out and switch. So I connect this to copper and I connect this. Okay, so aluminium and copper here, you see we get 0 0.6 volts using the potato as the electrolyte. So the best combination is actually the nail and the copper wire. So let's test that again. Yeah, so we can get 0 0.94. So let's use this combination. Now, from here, I'm going to try to light up the bulb. So let's see whether we can do it with 0 0.94 volts. So here you can see we have the wire. So I'm just going to connect both the terminals. Now, this, all right, so it's connected as you can see, but it is not enough to light up the LED light. It is not lighting up. So this means we need to connect more chemical cells in series. Now let's see if we can produce the same EMF 
with half the potato. So now we have half the potato. Now let's see if this works. So I'm going to connect the same thing, the same wire, put the copper wire here. Let's connect this to the voltmeter and see how much EMF is produced with half a potato. When we used the whole potato just now, we got 0 0.94, now we got 0 0.9. So it's about the same. I'm just going to keep cutting the potato to produce more chemical cells. So now let's try two chemical cells instead of one. So we have our second chemical cell here, so two chemical cells. Now how do you connect the chemical cells? You must connect this correctly. So the copper wire here which acts as the positive terminal needs to be connected to the negative terminal. Just as you would connect two dry cells in series, you would connect the positive terminal to the negative terminal like this. Alright, so now we need another connecting wire, this positive terminal to connect to the diode. So let's first see how much EMF we are producing here. So you can see with two chemical cells, we have 1.86 volts of EMF. So now let's try to light up the LED. Okay, so here it is not lighting up yet. There's no light. So we need more chemical cells. All right, this time I'm using four chemical cells. Let's check the EMF that we made. All right, so you can see now we have 3.5 volts of EMF, 3.5 volts. Now let's see if this is enough to light up the bulb, the LED light. Okay, let's connect this to the LED light. So let me just focus it in. Okay, so now, all right, you can see that we have the light on. Okay, let me show you that again. Disconnected. Okay, disconnected. Now I'm going to connect it so you can see the difference with the light there. There we go. And there we have it, guys. We've made a battery from potato, nails, and copper wire. Now, if you'd like to know the theory behind this, you need to study electrochemistry. I, will, I have videos on that. I will leave the links in the description. Please do check them out. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. Thank you very much. It really does help to show the algorithm that this is a good video and more people will be able to see it. And if you like videos like this, do subscribe. I will produce at least one video a week. I'll see you in the next video.